seven garbage clash of clans attacks and whether it's sending your air warden straight into the center of the base or sending all your e-dragons straight in the town we got some attacks in this video coming attack number one this man's gonna send a log launcher straight into double cannon some archer towers try and funnel with two baby dragons but that is not gonna do the trick and then for some strange reason this man's gonna drop a jump spell right there which is really only gonna send his troops outside the base then a P.E.K.K.A comes out of the siege machine, two P.E.K.K.A.s, four ice golems, and then 12 witches coming in the corner of a base. Coming from a corner of the base is never going to work out. Man uses a ward ability on, you know, a good amount of his army, but absolutely nothing's getting targeted, so it was completely useless. Wastes two rages, two heals, drops a poison on nothing on the right side, has an air ward, and like, what is the point of an air ward when every troop you have is on ground? It makes absolutely no sense. It's air warden, going to center base, gets targeted by his black air mine, goes down, and then his champ is going straight in the CC, and you never want your champ going in the CC or skeletons, and she goes down. And now at this point, his whole army has gone outside the base. All these all these witches, one on the right side, like a two or three, one on the left side, but they ended up dying. Queen is going to take out the single inferno, but then of course, he's going to shoot in a wall, and this E-Dragon is not done cooking. He's going to take out this archer queen. And the E-Dragon is, of course, still destroying these troops. Scattershot taking out all those witches. Keen went from the very bottom of the base to the very top. And coming in attack number two, we got a number one versus another number one. So you'd expect something big. But what this man's going to do big is he's going to lighten out a mortar. Arch Tower and a Wizard Tower. Why would we ever lighten out a mortar? Can't think of any ever strategy that, that would ever make any sense. Things are trying to take out the Scattershot, but it's not going to be enough lightnings. And this man has 20 Hog Riders, 4 E-Dragons, and 15 Wizards. Who cooked up this army? This looks like when you tried to do an all, like a, you know, maybe a hybrid, and then you didn't use all your miners or something, and then you had your next attack was E-Dragons. Like, that's the only possible way this could ever happen. Then he has a wall record going straight for this town hall. All of his Hog Riders are already dead. You know, Hog Riders are not good on their own. They need support, whether it's from a Warden or Miners that do some tanking. And of course, the Siege Machine is completely empty. Champ on the right side following, an e following one of his E-Dragons, going straight for the Town Hall. He has his Warden and his Archer Queen and his King on the left side going all the way outside of the base. Champion is getting targeted by the Single Inferno and the Archer Queen. She is, of course, going to go down, not even going to get to the Town Hall. It's not even activated, so she wouldn't hit it anyways. Nice little Warren ability, nice Queen ability, King ability, all at the same time. Archer Queen is going to go onto this Town Hall, but it's only level 57. This Town Hall, Town Hall level 15, is going to take out the Archer Queen. Absolutely horrible. 57% one star coming attack number three. We got Cobra. This man Cobra is going to drop four lightnings on top of the Eagle, which is, you know, he did some damage to the Archer Queen, but very interesting use of the lightnings right there. And another corner bandit. A corner cannoneer or whatever you want to say this man coming from the corner you gotta do some a lot of funnel funneling this man's done absolutely zero funneling so all the troops are gonna completely split up to the sides he has three freezes there's an archer queen a single inferno on top of his king and his king goes down and then he has an air warden go in the center of the base can target by a single inferno we can target by some air defenses i mean this man has one air defense troop and it's a loon and this man has his warden on air then he drops some bat spells finally freeze that uh that air defense to try and keep his warden alive for a little bit longer. But his king and queen have gone down. He has three golems in the center of the base at this point and a root rider. But they do absolutely no damage. So the root rider and the three golems are not going to be able to take out this town hall. I mean, if he did decent funneling, probably would have been fine because his base is single in furnace. This is one you want to use witches, but the funnel machine was broken. Can we attack number four? We've got the goat. J Cat, and this is J Cat's new clan, a funny clan, and uh, they are not so funny. I mean, they're really funny, honestly, but they're not so great, is what I meant to say. And she waits so long on those lightnings. Obviously, I sped it up quite a bit, but she waited so long that she had to use like one or two extra because the builder was upgrading, <laughs> was healing back up that expo. You know, spent so many lightnings to take out one expo. Of course, an air warden with the with the unicorn, and uh, then she's gonna send some more lightnings on the town hall and that other expo. I mean, absolutely no value out of her champ. No value out of her warden. Warden gets absolutely sniped right there. You know, I mean, at least you take a couple black air mines with them. And she is going to drop her archer queen. But there's three ice golems coming over for her. She's such a low level, she's going to go down to one expo. King comes in. And uh, then she drops three super dragons. They're going to get frozen by these ice golems. And this attack is just looking absolutely horrible. I mean, there is no funneling whatsoever like we expect from the old J-Cat slash Janet. Nice little Fleener. Shockingly, that Fleener is not getting targeted by that tunnel. I think she must have dropped it right out of the space. Right, there's too many targets for that tunnel. But the Fleener is going to take out this tunnel for sure. Definitely out of range, I'm pretty sure. 
and uh, E-Dragon the bottom side goes down, half these dra dragons are going around. At this point you wouldn't really want all of them to go to the town hall anyways, they just blow up and die. But uh, you really do also, to be fair, you want your troops to go to the center of the base and uh, having three of them go on the outside is not going to do too well in this attack. I mean, this is just absolutely a Janet classic. 33%, one star. Can we attack number four or five, whatever it is, Mr. H. Mr. H, someone sent me this man. Pretty positive. Mr. H, he's gonna he's kind of like a Janet clone, I would say. I mean, this man just drops his champ straight into this base, going straight into a bunch of skeleton traps. Not looking too good, going straight into this town hall, but the town hall is not activated, so she is not gonna target it. She's gonna walk right past that town hall, but she's gonna go down to the headhunter from the CC. And of course, this man had nothing in his CC. All these Valkyries are gonna the outside the base, and another corner cannoneer. I mean, this man attacking, look at attacking from the corner. You think he thinks his heroes are gonna go to the center of the base? No, they're all gonna go outside. If you use one Pekka or something with a, you know, funneled, you gotta you gotta funnel really hard to go to the center of the base from the corner. And for some reason, the Valkyries, I don't know why those Valkyries broke those walls instead of going towards the tunnel. That was actually kind of shocking, you know, gameplay by the Valkyries right there. This man drops a clone. Why is he dropping a clone on barbarians? Why is he have a clone in this army? I mean, nothing makes sense. Like, what is going on? His archer queen is going against two witches. He has no poison. That is absolutely the death of his archer queen. And of course, attacking from the corner. Start at the very top and at the very bottom, or vice versa. And, you know, drops an invis. Probably the right play to try and get the percentage there. But he is not going to get enough percentage. And this man gets a 43% zero star. Coming to the next deck, we got Nick from Battle Warrior. And this man, Nick, you know, pretty standard right here. Actually, the best use of lightnings we've seen in this video. I mean, someone lightning out a mortar earlier. Jcat spent 25 lightnings on one expo. This man's actually gonna lightning out some air defenses. Shocking stuff. And then he's instantly gonna drop his barb cam and instantly use his ability. Drop two E dragons on the bar in the defensive barbarian king. And this man is going straight for this town hall, which is usually not the play, you know. These bases are not set up for a free town hall. This is a it's kind of a deception right here to play by the defense. And his and his champion has the owl. It's gonna go down his I mean, this has to be a Janet clone, JCAT clone. I mean, maybe he studied her plays because this man's got the unicorn on the warden. Air warden getting targeted by a monolith. Used his warden body way too late. Could have used that on the champ. Maybe would have helped definitely would have helped take out the town hall. Maybe would have taken it out. But absolutely hit nothing with his warden ability. And Am I mistaken, or is that Yak? No, maybe that, that Yak. No, that Yak was on his Archer Queen. There's no way. What is this man doing? And then he's gonna send all of his E Dragons at this point to try and take out this tunnel. You know, I would send a couple. I mean, maybe. I mean, you gotta get that tunnel. So maybe you gotta send them all at this point. I don't know. I don't use E Dragons, but uh, yeah, they're all of course gonna go down blow up to that tunnel. Never gonna work out too well for him. That's a nice little one star. Absolutely horrible attack. Coming the next attack, we got Mr. H again from earlier in the video. Mr. H, you know, he does something that's a little different from Janet. You know, he does a log launcher and his uh, champ play right here. But this champ, it's not looking so great. I mean, going straight in center base, it actually takes a decent amount of defenses, but that's just because this base is such low level defenses, like town all 10, town all 11 defenses. Level 10 champ is very low. And of course, it's gonna go down the CC, but a level 10 champ is kind of like a, I don't know what the exact, you know, calculation would be, but it's kind of like a level 40 keen or something, or level 50 keen, something like that. Anyways, he has an air warden, but actually behind his air troops, so good job on that. But his dragon rider goes down, drops all of his loons, and the thing about his loon placement, that was kind of like nitpicking, but you don't want all your loons in the same spot, because then red air mines are going to take out all of them, they're going to hit all of them, and you don't need 20 loons to take out one base, right? You see like one loon took out that archer tower, so if you spread them out so they all hit different defenses, like maybe groups of five or something, right? Groups of four, just to actually get there. But yeah, he's going to drop some rage in the center base. Actually, see, like, this is how much fun funneling you need to do to get from the corner to the center of the base. And I don't know if it was on purpose or not, but he's going to get to the center of his base, but his hero levels are so, so, so low. His king goes down. His archer queen used her ability a little early there. She's taking out the town hall. But it's going to take, I mean, look how little damage she's doing to this town hall. It's going to take, like, 50 shots, and she goes down. Unfortunately, this E-Dragon Dragon are not going to get this town hall, even though this, even though this base is absolutely rushed and dog shit. Unfortunately, Clash of Clans decided to do a server update at the end of CWL, which ripped all of the attacks I wanted to record. But in other news, this man, Pink Boy for Life, my biggest op, he's trying to cancel me, so I decided to make a whole video on it. It should be out in the next day or two, so look out for that, and also shout my members and the new subscribers.